All right, guys, here's the deal. We bought a dirt cheap camper frame, and we're we'll going to be putting $1,200 worth of Amazon parts, eBay parts, and raw steel into it. And we're going to see if we can come up with a somewhat decent car trailer by the end of it. Because you know what? Trailer prices are too high. Now guys, this is a 1984, I believe, retired camper. This thing should have around 3,500 pounds worth of axle or more. We've got some new tires for this thing. We've got some new fenders. Got some scrap steel we're gonna use to stiffen everything up. And we've got a whole host of Amazon turn signals and wiring kits and everything. So, first thing first, we're gonna get this in the garage, pop the old crappy dry rotted rusted wheels off and then we're gonna put the new ones on so we can get the height that we're gonna mount our fenders at. Now, before we totally jump in, what do we get? Well, we got some load range D tires. These are 205, 75, 14s. We've got a couple Amazon boxes here. That's gonna be some riv nut stuff, some wiring stuff, the lights and all that jazz. Here, we have some two by two, my quarter inch angle iron that we got for scrap price of $31. We got seven pieces of this, eight actually. And we've got some diamond plate, 45 chamfered, 72 inch long steel fenders. Now, if you're gonna be lazy, don't paint your lug nuts, man. That's like a whole nother level of lazy. Gotta go another 60 bucks of lug nuts here. All right, now that we got this out of here, I'm gonna be cutting these stakes off here because 72 inch fenders are like the number one most common fender size. I couldn't find anything shorter. 68 inches for these, I think, but just go ahead and use a grinder, cut that off, cut that off, cut that off.
Okay, now we got our fenders mounted. So we're gonna move on and start saddle cutting some of the angle. That way we can drop it in in the frame, just stiffen up the frame and help support everything. Okay, we got all our extra braces in there. So next we're gonna move to grinding down the frame. That way we can weld everything in. And uh, that'll pretty much be the end of the fabrication stuff. It just convinces things to come out. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, That's some pretty thick gauge there. Dude, I know. <laughs> yeah, I kind of feel bad cutting it. It's okay, we can scrap it or something. <laughs> scrap it? <laughs> Get four cents for it. <coughs> if I'm not choking. Oh look, another little white truck. Isn't it sad that that one's registered, inspected, and that one isn't? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next up, we've got our Riv nut set up. So, hopefully, we're gonna drill two holes. Hoping to drill holes in here and here. And uh, we'll go ahead and put a riv nut in there, and that's how we'll mount our tail light assembly. guys that's gonna be the end of the fabrication stuff so let's take a look at what we got done so far here we go frames all good to go so we've got all of our angle braces in here that post we went ahead and tied this angle into the tongue rails there on both ends and then it was roughly every three foot on center like three foot six we added in another brace just to keep things stiffened up throughout the rest of it other than that pretty simple stuff because this thing is ultimately you know, it's a four by two frame, which is a really good foundation when you're doing this. Cause it's a, it's probably some of the, the better frames you can pick up. Usually you're gonna see channels and things like that. So four by two box frame went really well with everything getting secured the way we wanted it to, which makes, you know, adding additional reinforcements, not a huge deal. These are more just for holding the weight and getting that across to the frame. You got plenty of room there now. I mean, you can see this thing should be plenty stiff for what we wanted to do. So, as far as fenders go, we kept these things bolt-on, so we've got just an angle brace coming out. That's welded on. You can bolt these on and off, that way if these things get mangled or anything happens to them, you don't have to just chop off everything and re-weld everything, so pretty simple there too. And then obviously our new tires. Um, that gave us a little bit of a, it's a little hard to tell, but the other tires were a little bit taller, so we, we went ahead and dropped these down just to give us a little bit more height and um, that way you can shrink these fenders down to the 45 being at level with the deck boards. I don't know if we'll ever have something four wheel drive that can crawl up over the trailer fenders, but if we do, I made it that way so we could. As far as lights go, we already found out that's not a good position for it. So we're probably gonna move this license plate to one of the fender angles, something like that. And uh, these lights should work pretty good. Like I said, got them in there with the rivnuts. nuts. Everything, uh, everything fits up well and uh, should be pretty easy to wire. But otherwise, stay tuned for episode two where we get everything cleaned up and we get to finishing this thing up with paint and everything like that. So I'm going to take a little bit more time on that one. We want to make sure we get it at least 75% there 
roughly. I want to do it right, I suppose. I want to make sure we at least do that somewhat right. We'll see how it turns out, but stay tuned for the next episode on the trailer. And uh, that'll be all for now, guys. Thank you.